Hi, my name's Sean Galladay. Uh, I'm out of the military now, but I would be considered a sergeant at E5. And I, I just think the uniqueness about us is that, you know, this, the United States began as people who wanted to be free from tyranny. And they were able to, they, they were committed to doing whatever it took to be free people. And even if it meant that they gave their life for it. You know, there's a saying that many of us know that those who are, who forget history are doomed to repeat it. We must always remember what these men and women stood for. Even though they're at a different time frame and they're far removed for, from us, but the sacrifices that they made have allowed us to have the freedom that we have today. Because I believe that many of these people were motivated by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God, God's, God's presence, God's kingdom is a kingdom of freedom and liberty. It's not a kingdom of bondage, control, Marxism, socialism, communism. All of that goes against what the kingdom of God stands for. People don't need to go out and do anything elaborate. But I think the main thing, and this is what I do, the main thing is just don't forget. You know, when I hear about servicemen and women uh, committing the ultimate sacrifice, you know, just the other day, you know, I, I just say quietly to myself, we won't forget you. I think that that's the best thing that anyone could ever do is to is to never forget and to learn about the stories, read about the stories of these men and women and always remember what they did. If anything, let's remember also, because Jesus to me is the greatest warrior that ever lived. And he committed the, the most ultimate sacrifice that any soldier or Marine could, could make. The kingdom of God comes to break oppression. The kingdom of God comes to break slavery and break down those things that keep us controlled or restricted. And it is through his sacrifice that you can be free today.